Hello, hello, hello. Welcome and welcome back to Nita Price Plant Paradise. This is the place to come to take the time to exhale and enjoy nature's beautiful creations. Today, on this segment, we're going to talk about a strange area in my house that I have labeled the Bermuda Triangle. Just saying. I'm just saying. Too many phenomenal things have happened. Unexplainable that I don't understand. <laughs> Seriously. My plants in that area, mainly gone. I've never seen anything like it. But before I continue, I hope everyone is doing well in whatever part of the world you are in today. And hello, my little ones. How you doing? So I'm just going to get right into it. This is the area that I'm referring to. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Almost 10 plants in that area. Approximately. Let's just count. Just just count the as you can see, just just count the where plants will be placed. You can see, because now there's there's like two areas that doesn't have anything. Then there's another, there's areas, as you can see, there's plants there that are trying to make a comeback, I guess. But we shall see. Let's dig into the first one, the one that's at the bottom. The Serapegia Woody Eye String of Hearts. Seems like she's just slowly dying. I have to, I think I'm gonna see if I can snip snip on, you know, see if I can propagate her and make her a little bit more thick. Cause it's really only just one big long one. I love it, but it's a real long one. But a lot of the string of hearts have died. The leaves have died. It's on the other side of plant paradise. I don't know what happened. I'm just going to, as I say most of the time, you all know, Osop. It's going to Osop it. Means on the other side of plant paradise. It's done went over. It's crossed over. It's transitioned. Nothing I could do about it. I tried. Now, the next one. That is the, trying to make sure I remember, okay, oh, let me go, go to this one instead. Then the next one is my adore. Let's give a moment of silence for the big leaf. I think I'm going to try to grab a picture so you can see what she used to. That big leaf just dip on the other side. Just went, left me. Her little ones, they're struggling. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I really, really don't. I told you, it's, it, that's the only area in my house the plants are not thriving. And I'm thinking, okay, Nita, maybe you need to move them move them away let's see i don't know hmm let me hold out hold on maybe it's this maybe it... mm -mm. okay the one that is thriving even though she still seems to be in her own struggle since her traumatization from almost a year and a half ago is zoe the zz plant she's all right She's, she has, as you can see, I'm going to zoom in. She has some new leaves popping up. I mean, you know, sprouts. New, they're coming up. So that's, that's a good thing. So I said, okay. It's probably not the point. Because these plants that are there, they can have indirect light that are sitting there. You know, it, they can have, enjoy the indirect as well as some are direct. And the light bounces off the wall. So it gives them that illusion, so to speak. At least I thought it would. <sighs> that there is sunlight. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. 
Y'all, I don't know. I, I'm. Uh, I have to put my head down like this. This will probably be my thumbnail. Mm. I don't know. Then, what is the other one that's sitting there? Because I'm trying to do this off of memory, you all, instead of actually looking at the picture as I'm talking to you. There's more. All right, let me let me just go to my fiddle leaf fig, my bambino. She's dropped all her leaves. She started with new leaves. Those leaves fell off. She was bare as a as, as I don't know what. Now these new leaves are coming in. But for whatever reason, as I said, it's like a phenomenon. I'm serious. They don't last. It does not last. Then, next minute I know, the leaves are gone. <sighs> mm. Then let's get to dimples. Look how beautiful dimples were. Dimples leaves died, then it came back up. I mean, huge, bigger than the other one before. Then next minute I know, dimples leaves died. They have not yet grown in this particular area in my new home here, but I can't y'all like me. Why are you breathing hard? I'm speechless. I'm seriously, seriously speechless. Because I, I don't know. I do not seriously, seriously know. I have, I'm clueless. That's why I'm calling this area the Bermuda Triangle. Seriously. And for my little ones, Bermuda Triangle is an area in like in the Atlantic off the coast. It's an area where they say strange phenomenons have happened and it's unexplainable. That's why I'm calling this the Bermuda Triangle in my house. It's like an area that I just cannot explain. I just don't know what it is. And let's not talk about Gigi. My Nigro Laminal. Let's not talk about that one. She was another one. She lost the leaf. The big leaf was there. The next minute, big leaf was, was dying. Then she started sprouting a new one. Then next minute, I looked over. Wait, where's the new leaf? Where's the new sprout? She fell over. I said, okay. We have an area in my house that I'm just going to label the Bermuda Triangle. Yep. Yeah. I I, I, I just don't know. I, I don't understand what has happened to these plants. They were doing great. And the next minute, it just unexplainable things started happening. Because I can't explain it. And I walk past them every day. I water them. I do what I'm supposed to do. It, I can't even, this is not even a shame of it all. This is just unexplainable. 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 Hmm. I, I just don't know what to say. Maybe you all can give me some kind of ideas. Say, Nita, we'll move this one here or do this. I don't know. Can't explain it. Don't know. Can't figure it out. But this is not going to be a very long video. I'm just going to let you see. Just look at the footage. Just and shake my head all at the same time.
the unexplainable has happened to my plants in that area. The ZZ, like I said, that's a tough girl. Zoe is tough. She tough. I've never seen anything like it. Because I said, are you dying too? And when I looked in her, looked in her, you know, the soil and saw the new popping up, I said, okay, you are a plant. You're a different kind of plant. You are a different kind of plant. So, we're just going to leave it right there. I'm going to just let y'all look at it. The unexplainable. And I'll probably label this video as the unexplainable. I'm just going to. Oh, she's not looking. But I was going to, I'm going to name the um, video probably the unexplainable. Because I've, I've just never seen anything like it. And then put Bermuda Triangle in my house. I, I, mm. I'm just going to do the, pray for me. That's all I can say. Pray for the, the plants need some prayer. I'm just looking, getting ready to do the beautiful thought, y'all. I really am. Oh, man. Yep, I'm, I had it pulled up, but now, of course, I end up losing it. All right. This, is, this quote is from one of my favorite authors. Yes, indeed. My favorite authors. May she rest in peace. She has... Uh, she passed away uh, quite some time ago. And she, this is what she says. Science fiction frees you to go any place and examine anything. Hey, my truckies out there, start tracking all that. Hey, she ain't the, that's the truth. She was a sci science fiction writer. Her name, sorry y'all, something <laughs> right there. Her name is Octavia... E. Butler. Love her stories. About them. She has so many. But I just wanted to leave you with that beautiful thought. So just think she's saying science fiction frees you to go any place and examine anything. Guess what? You as an individual can go any place and examine anything. So, I'm just going to close out right there. I, like I said, I have, I have, I'm speechless. But I want to thank you all for being here with me today. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I moved my steering wheel and almost, almost gave y'all whiplash. <laughs> all right, but thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. And God bless.